www.vinylstrategy.com. Hello, this is Vinyl Greedy with a quick look at the markets for today, Tuesday, April 15th. We have a pretty busy day coming up starting at 8.30 GMT when we have inflation data from the United Kingdom. This could generate some volatility in the pound and in British stocks. Um, then at 9 o'clock we have trade balance from the Eurozone, though it's not expected to generate all that much volatility. At 12.30 GMT we have inflation data uh, from the United States. This is largely going to be considered the major event of the day as inflation data is, is important uh, for uh, Fed policy decisions. Uh, 15 minutes later at 12.45 GMT, we have a speech by Fed Chairwoman Janet Yellen, who's going to be talking about uh, talking to the financial markets co conference, and uh, there might be some indicators uh, about what the Fed will be doing in the future, so this might generate some volatility as well. Uh, also at 1 o'clock, we have uh, existing home sales from Canada, and home, uh, housing is an important component of the Canadian economy, which, so we could generate some volatility here if something comes out unexpected. And then finally, in the evening, uh, at 10.45 in the evening, we have inflation data from New Zealand, so this could be something you want to focus on if you're trading the Kiwi. Uh, moving over to stocks, the S&P 500 uh, rebounded yesterday, moved up and uh, erased most of the uh, Friday's losses. Uh, this was after uh, um, retail sales reports came in a positive, with positive results as well as um, good results with um, the first quarter earnings for Citigroup. Um, and during the Asian session, um, Chinese stocks continue to move on the downside um, over concerns of uh, economic growth in China. But uh, Japanese stocks, the topics uh, moved up for the first time in eight days. So we had a bit of mixed results in, in, in Asia um, with emerging markets um, being slightly depressed at the moment. Uh, going into the session today, at the beginning of the European session, we have S&P 500 futures are trading pretty much unchanged uh, and neutral, which gives us a neutral outlook, which is, isn't all that unexpected considering um, the, the important data we have coming out. So we could be looking at investors simply waiting uh, for the data to come out before committing to the market. Uh, the euro, uh, the euro moved below 138.40 as we expected. Um, now we have uh, 137.50 as our next level support and 138.40 as uh, resistance. Um, the pound is was pretty much unchanged during trading yesterday. Um, it's below resistance at 167.50 and we have uh, support at 166.60. However, we have some important data coming out today which could push this um, currency pair up towards 168 or, or down uh, towards 166. Uh, the yen, um, the yen gained, uh, sorry, lost a little bit of strength against the dollar, which pushed the um, the United States dollar Japanese yen uh, pair higher, just slightly. It's still between um, support at 101.30 and resistance at 102.30. And finally, we have gold, which continued to inch a little bit higher yesterday, but it's still within its uh, range of support at 1,310 and resistance at 1,300 and 40. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy trading.